All right, welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. Yes, we're back in this beautiful medieval debauchery. Henry, a lowly peasant, rising up to kick some ass and get pissed drunk along the way and dip his dick in anything that's going. Good God, we've managed to slay the mighty dragon known as Teresa, have our way with her, and a whole lot of bat maidens along the way as well. So the last time we played this, we took down Runt, the guy who had left Henry for dead and stolen his father's sword. And now we're on to a new tale. He was working with the Cummins, the bad guys in the game. So now we're hunting down a uh, counterfeit ring. So they're using uh, special coins, but we found out that they're not actually made out of gold at all. They have like silver plating on them. So we found this uh, German knight named Ulrich. Almost killed this, but lo and behold, it was a test as my arm is hanging off. Honest to God, parts of this game is like Monty Python. It's fucking hilarious. We got pissed drunk. I end up um, checking in on Hans, who was um, one of the Lord's little uh, sons. He's a bit of a prick, you know. A silver spoon boring up his arse, all that kind of stuff. Um, but he actually was fun. It was really funny. We end up getting drunk with the bath maidens, trying to get uh, a bouquet of flowers. It turned out that he got in trouble with the bath maidens. Very angry husband, as you can imagine. So yeah, it's, it's just wonderful, wonderful game. I hope they make a sequel. And like I said, it scratches that oblivion itch, you know, really janky, but really heartfelt, wholesome and hilarious. And you can get it for like next to nothing right now. But also, like, there is a little buyer beware as well, I will say, that it's extremely deliberate in everything it does, from the alchemy, where you're literally crushing up the in the pestle and mortar, all the way to having to keep your clothes clean, keep your armor all done properly, or people won't even look at you, like, they just smell the stench coming. So yeah, it can be, it can be tough. That's why it's almost simulator, but it's, it's a wonderful story. I've been enjoying it. I think we're a little over halfway now with the counterfeit ring. These quests are no mess. The combat is a big yes or no, and it's simple as that with people. Like, they either love the combat, or they never touch it again because of it. How's it going, Jack? Hello, the feck is up. Everything is up. The sky is up. How you doing? How have you been? Hope you're having a good year. It's based on Charles the Fourth. It's true history events, anyway, during uh, the 14th century. It's basically Czech Republic versus Hungary. Sigamund's army from Hungary has taken on a lot of Mongols from the east as hired hands and they're quite barbarians. They don't believe in the rules of war. There's no honor. They kill, rape and pillage everything. So as you can imagine, for the poor people of Bohemia, you know, now modern Czech Republic, um, they're like just humble peasants trying to live their life, you know, scared shitless of the plague and everything else in between. And you have this going on. So it's tough. A lot of cool things you can do in the game. There's a, a full combat tournament, lots of DLC. There's uh, we just got into the dice as well. The dice mini game is super fun. It's kind of like weirdly dice blackjack, where you get to score as much as you can. But if you go too far, you just bust out. Bust. So yeah, we're in this uh, new town, uh, Sasau, based on a real place, uh, a huge town, a huge monastery that they're building up. Here's some of our. We have our own dog and our own horse. He helps us hunt and attack. It's good. It's very good. The combat is... It is tough. It is very tough. You lose control of the camera. And what you do with the camera analog stick is you choose each arm, head, stab to the middle or both legs to try and win. So it's kind of like chess. You gotta kind of fake your attack like you're gonna hit him in the leg and then turn last second. You've also got reposts, you know, parries and... Um, things like different combos which don't really work the combos are tough because if they block a three to four hit combo in the first hit none of it works so it's yeah it is what it is but it's wonderful now henry we've got here he's played by a uh, a fucking lovable chump and he's done quite well for himself out of it but i hope they're working on a second game we've got him togged out in some very nice clothes but yeah they don't get don't stay clean for very long just got St. George's uh, sword in the last one as well. Some of these quests are upwards of two hours long, which is pretty impressive. These are some of our childhood friends. We were throwing horse dung at a local idiot. Hello, lads. How's it going? Hey, he's here again. 
Well, I never. Henry! Hey! Two gobshites. What's he doing? What's he doing? What? Can't be in too good of a state if they're under a bear free. What happened, lads? It's been a while. Oh. Henry! 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 I'm glad to see you. Dinner for life, you mad bastard. Matthew! Fritz! Can't wait for you're proper alive. hiking weather. Hell yes. TPG, how's it going, dude? Hello. You can't How was your weekend? That easily. Hope you're all doing well. Cheers for coming in. I'm almost surprised how and happy I'm I am to see the parish. You are all right. We are now. That's that we remake. Never made it. Yeah, yeah. It was odd. Yeah. Fritz ran like a little girl. Really? Which, what remakes that? Bloody Joker. Mad Max. <laughs> Tell us what happened to you. Still waiting for Spider-Man 2 to go on sale. Well. You will. Max Payne. Okay, side, there we go. Back in my right mind. Hell yes. And I see you're not doing that'll too be bad great. for yourself. That'll be great. What are you up to? There was a little bit of worrisome about the Max Payne remake. Apparently Rockstar, good old gobshites, they got into a little bit of trouble with Remedy over the R. Like Remedy recently changed. They've always had an R in their logo. But it had like a bullet, so it was kind of an R, but it wasn't, so it didn't really matter. But they recently changed it to a very more basic R, but it kind of has like ghosting in it to emphasis uh, on control and that, you know, the little powers. But Rockstar decides to kick up a fuss. Now, this is the same Rockstar that's hired them to remake Max Payne 1 and 2. Like, talk about shitting in your own bed and wondering who did it, you know? It's like, what the fuck? Idiots! Anyway, so apparently it's been fine. It was just a one tiny group, one idiot publisher or whatever, working over in Rockstar that didn't get the memo so it decides to try and uh, burn some relationships, but luckily, thankfully Remedy is very quick on the job to say, no, that was sorted before the holiday, it's fine, it's all good. Still very stupid. It, it reminds me of like that kind of tone-deaf HR that don't quite fit in with the company, so they cause more trouble than they fix. It's like, are you stupid? How are you missing the memo on everything else? But it very easily could have fucked up a relationship there. Because Max Payne was owned by Remedy. Remedy ran into a little bit of hot water. They didn't have enough finances to keep going. So they let Rockstar buy the IP. It's the kind of first, not too many times you see it, but one of the first times where an IP is bought rather than a company. So it just means they own Max Payne. They don't own Remedy. Um, but now, flash forward to now, they made Max Payne 3, which is great. But now they want to remake... Max Payne 1 and 2, but don't have the time with GTA 6 and whatever else they're cancelling. Uh, so they've now hired Remedy back to remake. And they're going to remake both of them in one package. It's going to be smooth from the first and second one. If anything, it might just be called like Max Payne Remake. You know, and it'll be both games put together. We'll see. Max Payne 2 does not get enough love. It's wonderful. The Fall of Max Payne. It's kind of like a tragic Italian uh, love story. You know, it's like, fuck. So good. And Max Payne 3 is great as well. Like It's not quite Max Payne I know on low, but it changes enough and does enough to make itself part of the series. But yeah, isn't it so fucking easy how things go wrong? Right now, I'm a squire for Sir Radzig. I see you've worked your way Taking up. a small break from this, so let's see how quick I get my ass hand to me in combat. How are you two getting by? No. It's shit. I was like, are they for real, you right? Say, we're still chopped off to bits. It just tells you bubble. how far oh, Rockstar no have come and how for anyone with brain dead they can be. Anyway. So come on, lads. You're one of the best. I don't know. No one's interested in two good carpenters in Sasau. No one. Aw. They're probably cowboys. We looked everywhere. Hey, you wouldn't happen to know of anything. Uh -oh. It will really help us out right now. Uh, I'll try and help. I'll find you something. Go to hell. I'll do nothing for you. Oh, jeez. No, they were pretty good. Well, I can ask around, but I'm not promising anything. Exactly. Thanks, Henry. Thanks, Henry. We'll pay off the debt. Don't you worry. Friend in need is a friend that's going to make me bleed. Uh, what can you do? Who else survived? Yeah, fine, Matthew. What other neighbours of ours made it? Your hunker's in the monastery. That girl really helped us out. Yeah, I met her. That's about all we know. She helped when us. we ran for it, we yeah, had, we had to like. Her. It was a but whole village with a plague, now, and we separated. had to make the remedy for it. Turned out, thankfully, it was not the plague. It was actually them drinking from the same water as their horses and animals. Ding! Oh, Got themselves a nice bit of dysentery. Uh, Teresa saved me, I saved... Well, it's technically both, but we'll, look, we'll, we'll lead with that. I owe my life to Teresa. She hauled me unconscious to the mill in Ratai and nursed me back to health. Such a good game. I'm glad she survived. 
Since you know her so well, why not try asking her if she knows about any work? Mm-hmm. I could do that. Take care. Alright. Um, I'm not going to go all the way back to Teresa. She's halfway across the map. Back home. So I can do that later. That's fine. Um, see what else they could do. Let's see what this says. We've got quest log. All the glistens. That's the one we're doing. All the glistens of gold. Yeah, oh, we almost fucking killed Ulderick and he almost killed us. It's got to do with the counterfeit coins. Uh, vengeance, that's like the main quest. We need to do that right now. Here we go. Pestilence. Oh yeah, I need to go check to see if it actually worked. Mm, promise Fritz and Matthew would pass on the regards to Teresa. Help them on jobs. May ask about the mills or could ask the lads who they think might help. The mills, huh? So the millers in the game, it's like one of those old urban myths, but millers are apparently like shady bastards. They're the guys who make flour back in the day, you know? Yeah, but apparently they used, to, they, used to, they used to fake weights and stuff. Kind of like your local drug dealer who doesn't give you the right amount. Um, so in this game, they've taken that urban legend and not just doubled down on it, but they've fucking tripled down on it and turned them into, like, black market fencers and illegal dealers. And <laughs> It's kind of mad, actually. So you sell all your stolen things to the millers, even if they're from dead bodies, graves. It doesn't seem to matter. They'll take anything. Nice. I wish I could rename my dog. He's just called Mutt. He's a good lad. I agreed this second. He's a masterpiece. Yeah. So I, I hope that we will see that before long. Like, I think it's in full production. So there's a high chance that if it's not this year, it'll be early next year. But it's closer than you think. Because uh, Alan Wake 2 is done now. And they're going into the conceptual phase for Control 2 and that. So, yeah. Th those guys don't mess around. They don't. Remedy is fucking awesome. All right. Let me remember stuff. So this is... Torch. I think we were supposed to talk. Is Ulrich here? This is the dice game. Uh, might be too late now. He's a bit of a pissed baby. Where are you, Ulrich? We'll continue with that quest. We'll help out the boys in a bit. Ulrich is the knight we're looking for. He's probably gone to bed. Is it? What time is it anyway? Nine o'clock. Yeah, this game goes by a very strict timetable. Nothing happens after 9 p.m. It's not fucking Ed Sheeran song. Bloody annoying because uh, you can get into a nasty trouble with your energy levels. Because you can fast travel if it takes up energy. Fast travel at night, bandits will kind of find you. It's really fucking cool, man. They'll take anything, right? Jesus. Yeah, lock up your mothers. One of these is ours. But Ulrich must be here somewhere. Hello, sir. They get pissy when you disturb them at night time. But I think if they've just gone to bed, it's okay. Is this him? It is. No, he's okay. Hello. So, what did Master Pfeiffer have to say? Now he's usually insulted, a wonderful knight in full getup, but as more. you can see right now, you can looks like a, Master a hairy Q-tip. They need copper sheets for the core of Sorry. the coins and quicksilver for the. That was a hairy Q-tip, isn't it? Where has it been? I see. Let's play the they magical game, everybody. Where's the exactly. Q-tip been? Which orifice has yes, this Q-tip been? Good. Yesterday, ear, I heard ear, people ear. from the I'm Clefton's sorry, yard by the incorrect. monastery complaining. You've been frozen out. They said next one they to buzz in. not sleep at night. Bam! Asshole. Correct. You get the grand prize. Down. A year's supply of used hairy Q-tips. Have you heard anything else? You said they use Quicksilver. Mm -hmm. There is a painter lodging here who is painting the church in Ujits. I heard him complain also. Ujits? He said that he went to the monastery for Quicksilver and it was all gone. Well, that's something to follow up as well. Thanks. Nice. So we've gone from like fucking fighting in a massive battle, massive war. I think he changed again. Then he'd gone back to sleep, which was amazing. Almost died a couple times. Then we were sneaking in, poisoning some of the soldiers' food so they shit themselves and they wouldn't be able to fight in the war. Uh, then we did that. Then we had to heal a whole village of dysentery. Now we're on to a like fucking espionage, counterfeit coin ring. It's kind of cool game, actually. You also have to impersonate a priest and speak a lovely sermon all about them titties and how much I like to bury my head in them. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, so he wants us to go. Is there anything else we can do? Hold on. Sometimes the quest doesn't update as well as it should. It's made on CryEngine, so they, they really didn't help themselves, unfortunately. CryEngine 
it shouldn't really be made for anything. It was good for Crisis, that was about it. But yeah, it's from those guys, Crytek, which are all but shut down as we speak, which is super sad. I don't want them to go away. No, no dev deserves to go away. If there's bad apples, get rid of them, but don't get rid of the entire developer. Let me see. Yeah, this kind of shit. Like, how are you meant to find anything? It's a pretty cool map. It's kind of like sorcery. And then when you zoom in on the towns, you get this beautiful medieval painting. It's gorgeous. It's actually pretty um, cleverly done because you can actually tell where things are, you know, it's not just a little bit of paint. I think if you're dirty, the map gets dirty as well, which I think is kind of cool. Yeah, it's a pretty cool game. I think if, like I was saying, if you, if you feel like you, you're up for like an Oblivion style game, but kind of sick of Bethesda, this is the game for you. There's talks of them doing a sequel as well, which I hope they can. It was a Kickstarter game. And they ended up at the time making a lot of money, one of the, the highest supported games, but it didn't wasn't even one thirtieth of the final budget, you know, so just dropping the ocean stuff. But it's become such a beloved game now that people role play in the game and also people have travelled to parts of Czech Republic to the you know, the inspired towns, the towns that this game is based on. It's pretty cool. Even got married there as well, which is uh, Something like people get a bit too, too invested too, you know. Jesus Christ. But yeah, I'm telling you, it's the closest thing to medieval simulator. Like you can uh, sharpen your swords to keep the, you know, clean the blood off them, keep them sharp and ready for combat. You can even pray at some of these areas. I haven't been able to do that yet. You got your butchers, everything you want to sell, you need to sell at the appropriate shop, you know. Like a trader, grocer, butcher, uh, there's blacksmith, armor. There's your barbers, your cobblers for your for your uh, shoes and that. It's fucking clever. What's this on? Talk to the master fresco painter. Nice. I think he's asleep here too, is he? Nice. You know what? Might have actually done a very good thing here. They're all going back to sleep here. You know? Okay, which one's the master fresco painter? You got townsman, fresco master. Hell yes. Thank God you've... Have your little name tag on, huh? I hope I can be of help to you, Knight. I hope I don't have to talk to your back of your head this whole conversation. I hear you've had some problems with the supply of Quicksilver. Problems? No, just I to talk say back so. his head. For the third time this month, they've told me there's none. There's no Quicksilver well, to be yeah. had, they said. It's a good, it's a good back of a head, though, in fairness. Who's holding back the goods on you? The monastery overseer, <laughs> or his assistant, more like. So what did the overseer hey, have to say to you? Nothing. Apparently he doesn't deal in such trifles. Leaves it all to his assistant, the pompous git. Sounds Irish. I can't tell from the back of his head though. Who's holding back the goods? Surely such valuable material. I'm thinking this silver is gonna lead back to Where can it be? Henry's village. I wish I knew. So we're, every time we're a night squire, but pain, there's a you know, sure the combs we are not. Quicksilver to mix it. Once they said the goods never arrived. It's gonna be a great year for games and stuff as well. I hope it's a good year for you guys for you know, personal and growth and travel and whatever you want to get up to. Jesus, what do I know? But it seems pretty I strange to me. I want to travel a good bit. Three times in a row, the same thing goes missing. Mm -hmm. There's bad luck, and then there's something else. Okay. So that sounds like he does. He's none the wiser that they're actually doing yeah. stuff behind his back. What do you need Quicksilver for? Paint, maybe. I don't. They do. To mix up the red pigment for me. I'm right. Take the church in Ujits. Can you imagine? Fancies himself a Sistine Chapel Michelangelo. Red? Not really. Then be glad you can. My eyes are just to imagine it. Alright. I think that's all we're going to get from him. So he's using it. He's seems innocent enough. He's just using it to change the pigment of the paint. Probably even using it as. That's all I need to know. They would now. with the lead, you know. Ah. But wouldn't you care to buy something before you go? Or play a game? No. I really need some money. I've been waiting here a while and my stay is getting expensive. Hmm. Really need some money as you sample another fine tankard of beer. My pleasure. Yeah, dice sounds good. I don't have time. Now what do you have for sale? Why not? Show me what if you I have play out with them dice, I'm just going to beat them. Cheap wine, tavern life. Let's see. Skill book on drinking and alcoholism. See, we get that when we're born in Ireland, you know. First one, we, you know, some people get like fucking cat in the hat, you know, and all that kind of thing. What's the other one? Uh, green eggs and ham. But not us. We get how to be an alcoholic. <laughs> go, go, gaga, one pint of bitter, please. 
Ah, I'll buy this uh, treasure map off you, you miserable bastard. There you go. Won't say I never give you nothing. You can haggle every purchase, and it's actually really fun. You can piss them off a little bit, and then pull it back a little bit. It's good fun. All right. That's all you'll get from me. We've got a little reputation there. There's a lot of hidden systems that go on in the game as well. Your general reputation. Um, as I was saying, like how clean your clothes are actually affects like people. When you walk up to people, like it's like, oh, you smell like shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, thanks. I've been rolling around in there. What do you expect? Different beds give you different comfort levels and that. It's kind of genius in a way. I was highly addicted to it, and then I was like, moved over and did Terminator. I've been trying to be better at just starting a game and just going mainline on it. You know, it's better for me with controls. It's better for the story. It's better for you guys. So if you're not liking the game, I'll move on quicker. And if you are loving the game, it's like binging a show, you know? So maybe that might be better. It's up to you. Let me know. I, I'm here for the feedback. Why did they call it feedback anyways? Like when someone feeds you and you vomit it back. And like, what does it mean? What is it? Who's feeding who? You're feeding my back? I don't have a hole back there. Unless you just have an ass back where you have no arse and it just goes back the whole way down to the bottom of your feet. Now I'm just giving you weird visual pictures mind 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 freak uh, okay so we did that I think we may have to sleep here because everybody's gonna be asleep and I'm trying to get to the bottom of this uh, okay Groshin yeah 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 fine oh find out who in Sasso Sasso is huge okay I think it's the biggest uh, city because not only is it this giant monastery halfway up here it's also all of this down here Sasso. He started in Latai. So what well, sounds a bit Irish. There's my horse. Lovable horse. You'll fly it all off at a moment's notice. Thanks. You can even dress up as the bad guys and sneak around. That's cool too. I know a lot of games do that. Alright. Find out who in Sasso works with the copper. Find out where the counterfeits get the quicksilver. Continue the investigation in the overseer's office. Right, we can do that. So we're gonna go to B. I wouldn't say it's the most um, friendliest of quest markers and all that kind of stuff. It kind of be it'll point you to the direct person, even though you've never met them before. And other times you get a big splodge on the map, like right now, where it's quest marker circle, ooh, investigation circle. Impossible to fucking find these people because they all have extreme set work stuff like you'll have the lord running around the field down there instead of in his fucking chambers which seems highly dangerous but who am i man i'm just the one staring at horse shit good god nighttime is scary though like the game excels when it's one-on-one -on -one combat i really enjoy it but as soon as another person enters the fray it's over camera you have no control over it so it just sways all over the place uh, they'll run behind you and smack you in the back just the usual stuff so yeah it's, it can it definitely is one of the harder learning curves i've ever played in a game even more so than a souls game because a souls game is difficult but it generally comes down to timing you're right you know parries timing roll timing iframes and you're good to go this game everything in it but you feel learnt you know that kind of way you feel like you've earned every single battle every even reading you have to learn to read like everything but you feel so accomplished but i'd say the closest i think i felt in terms of learning curve and reward in a game like this has to be the last guardian that game <laughs> trico it's like training an actual dog i don't think i could ever stream that game I, when i did play it it was with videos and high editing i was cutting and trimming like it was my first time at a hairdresser's because there's just so much non-listening going on you know it was really training a dog and frustration was felt there's no doubt about it all right gotta be careful here i think it might be worth just sleeping for the night because it seems that the overseer is in his personal quarters which no doubt is probably well guarded look at this pig man with the mohawk just living life it's, it's actually a sow with about 18 titties don't show the furries now so go crazy this guy's probably guarding this place he's like he can't get in there now come on out no, no, no. Let's see, if it says trespass, I'm guessing you're the overseer in a private air, but a porter? No, I don't think that's the same guy. It must be over here. Why is there a barrel block? I mean, weird. Hmm. What was that? Sorry. Might be up there. 
I love how the dog stops to drink out of the puddles. No doubt he's probably vomiting. Yeah, you can trespass a lot. But if it's for a quest, you kind of be cheeky with it. Hello there. You're the overseer. Nice. And he's awake. Good day to you. What do you need? Shut the fuck. I'm looking for some quicksilver. Did you have any on hand? Talk to my assistant. He deals with such trivial matters. That Fine, brother, thank you. Is that Brother Porter? Uh, Quicksilver, if I can remember, I think they used to use that for fireworks or something, right? It was like an offshoot of silver, or almost like fool's gold. Are you the assistant? Overseer's hand. Oh. That's gross. I hope I can be of help to you, Knight. That's, you're a whole hand? Just been mutated into you have any person? Quicksilver in stock? Yeah. Who's asking? Oh, jeez, that changed. That poor painter. Yeah, let's let's use the painter as an in, but clearly we're looking for something way deeper with the counterfeit. I'm here on behalf of the master fresco painter. He says you sent him away empty-handed three times yes. already. Yes. Then I don't have any. That sounds almost as if you don't want to sell it to me. It's not that I don't want to. It's that I can't. What? Okay, so this is the how the persuasion system works. I'm usually blocking it, but here you have your points. Which you've got speech by the mouth, then um, the heart is meant as, um, I don't know, it's kind of like charisma, I suppose. It's the softer way. That's why it's like, it looks like a love thing. I don't know. It works like that too. And then obviously the aggressive swords as well. So you got to pick which is your highest. And you don't see his. If you have a high enough skill, you'll see his points. So it really is just you beating his points. Kind of a simpler system. But obviously up until now, I have a boost because of the clothes I'm wearing and the rings and stuff like that, charisma boost. So I think my best bet is just straight up there. Can't you? First one. In the Sassau Monastery? Or she? That seems unlikely. It's a fail, it's a fail. It looks more like you're lining your own pockets to me. Careful. I wonder what people would have to say about that. Ooh. It's not. I'm not. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. You know what it Get is. Get to the point. Probably working with the bandits. Uh, they came for me at noon. Directly to the office. The overseer was somewhere on his rounds. Some night, it was. Without a crest. Uh-oh. Armed. He called himself Sir Yezhek, and he had a lackey with him called Rapporter. Okay, I thought it was Ulrich for a second. Cape. Always whistling, he was. They told me they wanted all the quicksilver we ordered for the monastery. Of course, I told him that wouldn't be possible. You're and then what, did they threaten you? How did you go to the garrison? Uh, not at first. They tried to bribe me, and when I refused, they started threatening. Okay. Reached the new level. Nice. Uh, how did you get the quicksilver to them? How did you hand it over to them? Find out where the counterfeiters get the quicksilver. I take it up the hill behind the monastery here. Yeah. I bet you take it up the hill. There's a big bastards. tree there with a small chapel underneath. Sometimes Rapporta is there waiting for me. If not, I leave it there. Okay. That helps us. So there's a, there's a dead drop, basically. What did they threaten you with? They said they know people in the monastery. That they'd have me thrown out and beaten for stealing. And you had been stealing? I mean, before then. You know how it is. I work my fingers to the bone and they pay me a pittance. That's so no they excuse. Knew about you. Yes, they knew my name, everything. Oh, this goes way bigger then. He's just a fall guy. Very well. Thank you. Numpty. Good luck to you. Good luck to you. All right. Oh, the overseer is mysteriously vanished as well. Right, somewhere up the hill, he said. Okay. Niche. Oh, no, he's just going to bed, I think. It's about that time. I'm surprised I'm able to do so much of it right now, but no, I think it'll be it'll be gone now. I'd be like, nope. Sorry. This is like, we already did half of this quest with Ulrich the last time he streamed this. I'll just tell you how I had to end it because I was like four and a half hours in. I was like, I, I can't. But we had done so much anyway. I knew I wouldn't be able to finish it. These are big ass quests. There's no joke about it. But it's kind of cool. Like even just the main quest that we were doing the first time, we it ended up being four quests long, and it was like eight hours in total because we were constantly looking for uh, this giant murder mystery. Someone got crucified and disemboweled, and it led to a huge goose chase, a uh, wild goose chase between fucking four or five different bandits all working for runt you know it's, it's wonderful but I, I was like I, it's so hard to know when to end the stream because you feel like you're constantly mid quest and I'm like I'm not going to remember you're not going to remember like 
But uh, ah, you just unfortunately you have to just kind of go with the flow sometimes. It is what it is. Okay, so he said it was up near a church, right? He had left like a little dead drop. They might have already taken it anyway. Uh, let's see if this actually helps. Let me see. Up on the D pad for the map. Is this is this it? No, it's over here. Okay, cool. All right. Um, actually, sort of going the right way. Let's get our horse though. How do we do that again? There's a strangle. Hey, teleports. Teleporting horses. It was all the rage during the medieval times. There you are, my teleporting horse. My lovely, lovely teleporting horse. Yeah. Nice. Actually, technically, this isn't even medieval. It's considered middle age, I believe. Oh, it's medieval to me. It's like dark age, middle age, middle age man. The way the game does saving is you can save when you sleep, you save when you exit the game, and then you get some saves when important quests happen. But otherwise, that's it. To actually save manually, you need to concoct a special drink called Savior Schnapps. It's not that hard to make. I already have like 40 of them or something. Um, but yeah, at the start, it can be very tough. Just, yeah, the, the save you get when you leave, obviously, is, is like a quick save so when you come back in it doesn't exist anymore so just be careful but thankfully on console they're a little bit nicer so say the game crashes it just counts it as an exit so you get a free save that way or if you just dashboard and exit like that you also get a free save so just that you know okay cool there's something somebody here oh wait didn't we kill some oh fuck dude didn't we, we kill these guys oh no they're asleep Bandits, okay, cool. Uh, check out the place where the materials are handed over. Of course, it's bandits. Lockpick easy. Yeah, we can do that. Lockpicking in the games is very difficult. This one shouldn't be so bad. You just have to move with the tumbler as your pick is inside and keep in the gold zone. Nice. But they, you're doing it in real time, so they can wake up and be like, no, bitch. That's probably what they're doing right now. All right, is this where the quicksilver is? That's all their stuff. Nice. Any quicksilver? No. That means we'll probably have a little bit more to do. Uh, I could also poison their food here if I wanted to. But it would appear that I have to talk to them. Maybe they'll just hey, fight. No. Clear off. You sleep. I think they're too asleep now at this point. Uh, let me be. Bastard. I'm sleep. We need to get information out of them, but we know it's going to lead to a fight. So you're at this, like catch 22 thing where it's like who fucking cares man i'm gonna murder the shit out of them anyway but i need to find out what's hanging so okay um yeah this is what i was afraid was gonna happen so you can wait traditionally but you're gonna lose a lot of energy and that cuts into your stamina night almost like from 9 p.m to 9 a.m that to me is your best bet it seems crazy but although most shops open at seven they, they have to walk to get there. So it's a whole lot of bullshit. So you're just better off just going to 9 p.m. So I'm not going to do that now. Um, will they talk at all? What if I draw my sword? Uh, shit. Shut off. What if I stab you in the cussing, you bastard? The worst thing is I want to, but... <sighs> God damn it. I need to get information out of them. So there's definitely nothing in here. I love that it says Rob. This is the funny thing about the game. Same with some of the bandits. You'll pick up the stuff off their dead bodies and they'll still say robbed, which is fine. But they're dead bandits. They're not like how they do the happy bandits, you know? I know they're people too, I get it, but I ain't give a fuck about their lives. No one else should either. They're too busy killing people. So you get in that awkward position where you're technically holding stolen goods. The game is quite beautiful too, right? I think the world is nice. The character models sort of let it down a little bit. Mostly just cry engine jank. Like even Henry being one of the more well animated uh, characters. It's, you can still see through his neck where the stuff clips through. Nice. Alright, I guess we'll sleep for a bit because it's just going to uh, hold up the whole quest. I should have done it when I was over there. We got lucky with the overseer because it was like dead on 9 p.m. So we're fine. It's kind of a funny thing. I think it's like because they they go asleep. Yeah. 
and the first couple of minutes it's okay they'll talk to you but then they're like in a deep sleep or something no it's it can't be right right that sounds a bit too too good to be true but it does seem that way like once it's past 10 or so they just won't talk to you won't even get up but they will wake up to get you out of their bed if you're in it though <laughs> it's kind of funny all right this is the monastery is it yeah let's, let's go back out and keep going south I, yeah. I definitely bought a bed in the inn, but I think you have to buy multiple yeah. nights. You would probably would have had enough time if I didn't talk yeah. to Matthew and Fritz, but I wanted to do that. I'll help them out. Uh, tournament, okay. Yeah. It's always telling me about that. This is cool. I like this kind of stuff. I've watched many detective uh, yeah. shows and movies over the years, and yeah. the idea of like counterfeit rings and that, like, always highly connected to the mob. And this game, for for the most part, yeah. it's pretty clear that the bandits are seen as the mob, you know? They're working yeah. with uh, the treacherous Cumans, you know, which are the Hungarians. Now they're like a, a mix of everything. It's, it's your stereotypical stuff back then where it's like half of them are just a bunch of racist wankers, but they have no yeah. problem using them for their armies, you know? Same shit, I can't get out of here. Come here! But yeah, it is, a, it is a first person game, there's no choice to move to third person or anything like that, but I think it it's fine, you know. The only time it really affects it, or hardest, I think, is the archery. Dear God in heaven, I, I'm bad at it. Yeah. I'm bad at the archery. Like everything else you learn by doing, so you can kind of grind it out a little bit to get better at it, but. Archery, oh my god. Not to mention having to pay for a good bow and pay for arrows and stuff, you know? It's a big difference to just buying a good sword and be happy with it. Am I in the right place? I only get so direct from challenge. I, I think there's a certain beauty to the game. Like it's not going to be fucking cyberpunk levels or anything, but something very nice about it. I hope if they are doing a Kingdom Come Deliverance too, that they think about maybe Unreal Engine or something else. I have my problems with that engine, but I'll take it over fucking 97% of the other engines. Looks like I can get other stuff here. And he also wants me to speak with Master Jaifa. Why is he here now? That motherfucker, I have to go all the way to retire to find yeah. him. Even though the compass is very helpful up the top. We're talking about me here. I get directionally challenged in a fucking elevator, you know? Especially if one door opens to go in and then the other door opens. I'm being serious. You think I'm taking the piss? I'm being serious. Did you ever do that where you go in the door? And you wait for it and it's the door behind you opens? You're like, eh. And everyone's just staring at your ass, like, waiting for you. Get out, you bastard. Where is the actual? Where is the actual? I think. Is that where I was supposed to go? Mm, it was. What's this? Because I think a uh, tavern doesn't work like an inn. I know it's called a tavern, it's a pub. But then yeah. uh, an inn will work like a tavern. Huh? Yeah, your guess is as good as mine. Because it has the word lodgings on it. So you can find it. You can stay yeah. in the inn. But you can't sleep in the tavern. No matter how drunk you are. By the time I find this, it's going to be daytime. I swear to God. I swear to God. I wish that, I thought, as far as I know, there's no like special potion. Or food that gives you energy, because otherwise I would just wait all the time. Let me see, is he gonna allow me to have to buy the bed twice? I believe it was the room in the middle. Oh, fucking hell. Can you sleep in there? I think it was this one. Is it locked? I think so. Please, Jay. I'd say if you kept your stuff in there, and they locked you out. Piss my ass. I think it was late enough the fucking innkeeper. There he is. He might not even give you a room. Hello. God be with you. God be with your back as well. A place to sleep. Can I sleep here? Alright. 
For how long? One night. Just the one night? All right. It's only two tiny little things. There you two are. Grashings. You'll like it. All right, fuck off. May the Lord watch over. I love that he, they put a conversation choice of where's my bed. Because, God forbid, it is that hard to find your fucking room. So now it's, is it a real door now? So yeah, that's cool. So they do animate the doors. Ah, sleepy, sleepy, snoozy, snooze. Good lads. Get rest your weary bones. We'll wake up anew. Get 70% comfort, give us a little bit of health. The only thing that gets knocked is nourishment. It's kind of funny when you're sleeping, don't ask me why, but the controller lights flicker all over the fucking place. I don't know what that means. Thought it was a, a goblin coming to kill me. Alright, so we'll talk to these bandits first. They do have a habit of wanting you to check in because you are just a squire at the end of the day, so you get heavily rewarded for constantly checking in when you uh, do some stuff, so that might be something you have to do. Get like over 300 groshens. It's kind of like you're sent out by your, you know, your knight, you're in his servitude, but it doesn't mean you're just left to your own devices. You gotta make sure you're still doing this job in his name, so you gotta make sure you're not besmirching the knight. It's all about honor. Yeah. The knight in question, Sir Radzik, he is fucking cool. I didn't like him at the start because he kind of took tail and ran, but he is a strategist. He very much did that because it was like, yeah. um, you know, flee today, fight tomorrow kind of thing. Seems kind of pussy, but, you know, a handful of men versus an entire army. Yeah. yeah. He did the right thing. So he's kind of cool. He's been good to us as well, like we're still, at the end of the day, you know, squire, no squire, we're just a peasant, we're a blacksmith's son, taking us under his wing was extremely dangerous, we could end up killing somebody or, or you know, just being a louse, a damn louse. Henry is a bit of a louse in fairness, running around in his bare stock, I'm sorry, where was these bastards? You wouldn't even know where their camp is, I thought they were dead, I found a camp randomly. Slaughter the living shit out of its occupants. Is this the right place? Yes. But it's gone now. Did I fuck up? What's yeah. happened? I don't understand. Are they gone from there? God damn it. You tell me I like, slept. I missed them, but slept and now they're gone. How does that make any sense? How can I miss them twice? Yeah, da. Sometimes I wish it was a bit more spelled out. Yeah. But no handy holds for you. Where the fuck is this camp? Here it is. But they're just gone. Oh, I see them right here. Unless, unless too much time did pass. Who is this? Is it like a knight now? Oh, it's the bandit. Why are you just sitting around? Why are you just sitting around? What? Why not? Admiring the view. People just do not appreciate a lovely view these days. I'm too late for the handover. I'll leave you to it, you know. Someone called Rapotia. Does the name Rapotia ring any bell? Rapotia. Okay. Rapotta, you say? Potter. Rapotta. Hmm. Nope, I can't hear any bells ringing at all. You're such a liar. I'll skewer you where you start. I'm investigating a crime against the king. 16 plus 1. I'll skewer you. Admiring the view, my arse. Yes. If you ever want to see another view again, I suggest you answer my question. Nope. I've been more impressively threatened by my sister's baby. Fuck you. Oh shit, we don't fight? I don't know where I doubt this is gonna work either, is it? Look, you little jester, I'm mm. investigating a crime against the king on the direct orders of Sir Radzik. Are you really gonna keep pretending you don't know anything? Hang on. What's all this about a crime against the king? Oh, they the have king? some morals, man. I'm just keeping an eye on things. When a wagon comes in, I'll make sure nobody robs it. I get a commission for that. That's what? it. See? That didn't hurt a bit. You're working for someone? Yeah, where is where's this? Where's Rapata? I don't know. He's been staying in town lately. He hardly ever shows up here. It seems he's keeping an eye on someone there. But I don't know who. Um, thanks, enjoy the scenery. You're wasting your time waiting here. What's this for? Oh, you can tell him like, to clear off, is it? Who comes to fetch them? I don't know, some people, they don't speak, just look mean. Take the goods and go. Right. Once again, bandits working for someone else but having no clue. Thanks. Hope the scenery keeps you entertained. Okay. 
Wasn't there a second one? Is he still asleep, man? Get the fuck up. Why are you waking me? Go away. I don't play. Wake up. Why are you waking me? You're not waking me. Do you have anything else to say? What? What? People just. Oh man, you can do it all over again? Okay. Look, you look. Hang on. I'm just keeping. See? That. Bit of friendly advice. You're wasting your time here. Wrap it to scarf. What? Damn it. Now what? In any case, thanks for the info. Okay, that didn't help us. I'm thinking it's off that guy. Whoops. Where'd my horse go? I just dump it right there. Yep. Because I was pissed. It's, for some reason, it actually moved the quest yeah. marker. The guy in town now. No, for, I, did, I don't know how we got that name for Potter. So I'm thinking they were, I was supposed to be able to get there before everybody went to sleep for the handover. And I missed it. And then I had to sleep myself because nobody was fucking there anymore. Hmm. Yeah, there was a C. Oh, that did it fail. Let me see. Something's not right. I hate that. You kind of you are left your own device a little bit optional until. Oh, why did you do that? What is it? Yeah, C is gone. I guess I'll just go back and talk to that guy. Look, I don't have much option. Chapa 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 cha chapa cha chapa cha cha cha. I like that there's like multiple ways of doing all this for sure. It's just helpful. But the issue is that it can be too, it's trying to be too immersive, but then it, it can break its own immersion. Like I was in a fight one time and these uh, civilians were in the way and they got hit by one of the, the other enemies and it, it broke yeah. the entire quest line. It wasn't my fault for once, I swear. They just turned into, you know, scared civilian mode getting getting punched. Fuck man, I always miss the own turns. It's like fucking four of them. Yeah. It can't be that hard, but I still do it. These farms are fucking huge. Alright. They're giving us a bit of the old runaround. I do not like that. And I find this guy you, when you do find them, you end up wanting to flog them. Can't be doing that. So it always leads me into this fucking farm, and it's it's not right. Yeah. Okay, where is this? He's down there. Yeah. We're just trying to find out the fucking quicksilver. Goddammit. Maybe I wasn't supposed to go through those bandits. Maybe I was supposed to find the dead drop itself. Oh, I'll figure it out. Don't you worry. It's a new day. We're refreshed. We've met some old friends. Getting closer. Seems to be someone big behind it all. Okay. Well, merchandise from all over the world. Cabbage. The relic from the woods. Cabbage. I like the way they can do that. Choking cabbage. This, this might be the man himself. No, he's just the scribe. If you want to learn to read, but we're looking for this bastard right there. Tobias. Wanker. Greetings. What do you need? You look different, Master. So as to fit in. I don't want it known that I'm in town. Mm-hmm. Why? I don't want to alarm our prey. Gossip spreads quickly, and if those scoundrels learn we're onto them, they'll flee. And that does make sense. So what have you found out so far? Uh, very little. Yeah, I know where they get their quicksilver. I found out where they get their quicksilver from. You were right. It was the monastery. Hmm. It was the only logical explanation. The copper. It changed hands on the hill behind the monastery. Have you been there to have a look around? I have. But I didn't find anything interesting. And have you found out who's behind it? Mm -mm. Someone called Rapata. Not much, but it's a start. <laughs> no. At least it's not a common name. Right. Listen, Henry. I had another thought on the way here. Those counterfeiters have to have a punch die to make the fake coins. Yes, of course. That's sophisticated work. And there's a man I know who works at the monastery yard. Master Engraver Jerome of Silesia. You don't suppose that he's... No, not that, God forbid. I know him well. He'd never do anything like that.
But he runs an engraving workshop, so he might have heard something. Very well. I'll ask him. But ask with tact. I don't want him getting offended. And I prefer you not to mention me at all. Okay. I'll try to think of something. That's all. God be with you. God be with you. They're awfully religious. For a bunch of scallywags. Okay. So that makes sense. Yeah, the engraving that would go on the coin, you know. Um, but would the engraver not know if it wasn't a legit coin? You know, he would have seen millions. And he'd probably be able to tell them by fucking smell, let alone, you know, look. Something's not adding up. That guy, that reporter, he is just... He's just a little stool pigeon, you know? Just one hand. Like they make it sound like he's the, the big wig. He's not. Let's check out the engraving. And we got this in general. Yeah, we need to figure out the copper side of things. Hmm. I don't know what you do with that. This is where you genuinely be happy with a few suggestions, you know? Because you do have to use your brain. And we know that mine checked out long ago, fortunately. I've done everything to try and bring it back. That'll even make your mad Cope boy, smokes like porn doesn't seem to help at all. It's gone. It's gone with the wind. The hills are alive. The sound of puking. No, nope, it's not the right place. Mm, okay. It's the one bridge to get across. And trust me, this game, like, I can, the best advice I can give is stick to the fucking roads. Because you fall off the horses. It took me, yeah. like, five hours to realize there was a jump button. Like, maybe don't take my advice at all. It does have a funny control scheme square to jump. Oh, yeah. there's a lot of the running as well. I was kind of hoping we'd fight those bandits, but they just don't seem too bothered. Good day, Gosh, Henry. Good day. I love how these guys just waltz into town. Like, find us jobs. Well, fuck you. Okay. Where's this master engraver? It's a lovely farm. Like, look at this place. Sasso Monastery and Village are thriving, but does that speak volumes, maybe, you know? Is this whole town being funded by dirty bastard counterfeiters? So far, so good on these success stuff, I'm telling you, like most... Okay, it's not the way in. Most games, getting your charisma and all that up, really does open a lot of doors. Okay, where you at? Don't be asleep now. See what I'm saying? It's like 9 or 10 in the day. It's probably even midday. The fucking bandit's still asleep. Look, it's 11. 11 o'clock. What is he, a fucking Twitch streamer? Oh, wow. Look at this place. Hello? Master Jerome, how's it going? I'm at your service, Sir Knight. Yeah, they call us Knight. We haven't actually been knighted. We're just the squire of a knight. Lady of Tomberg. Oh, so there's a secondary quest. Right, Lady of Tomberg is Jessica, I think I remember. She's got the hots for us. How's it going, Master? How goes the work, Master? Let's hope it doesn't Getting destroy in. one quest Getting by in. doing another, you know? It takes a lot of me to be fully immersed board? in the game to the point where there's only thing I'm playing, so when it happens, it must be a good game. Yes. Agreed, dude. Agreed. Uh, do you work here alone? I'll be going. These are not the questions what are you doing I'm after. Anyway? You're in an engraver's shop, my boy. Yeah. We're engraving. Of course. Yeah, but engraving what? And what's it used for? Oh, we engrave wood and stone and as well as metal. Here in the monastery, it's mostly about decoration. You've got quite a large workshop, Master. You don't do all the work alone, surely? I'm usually here with my apprentice, Florian. And of course, by simple observation, you'll note that this is not currently the case. Nice. And I'm here alone. I've met a few Florence. Which means that either I'm a liar or something out of the ordinary has occurred. Ooh. Um, I see. I think. So what's happened to Florian? He shares the fate of the pharaohs. For today, the fifth scourge of Egypt did smite him. The plague. Or so his message advised me. Jesus Christ. The plague? <laughs> it's like a Do doctor's sick now. I'm quite certain the plague from which Florian is suffering wasn't a judgment from on high. Yes, or plague if it of was, hangover. it was a judgment on excessive drinking. Right, exactly. I'm told such an ailment can be of truly biblical proportions. It's true. Talk to Florian. Okay. 
Uh, does he have any enemies? Does Florian have any enemies? A man such as he certainly owes money at every mm -hmm. turn, and the parents of local girls are undoubtedly displeased with his attempts to propagate. However, most recently it was that fury from the baths who accosted him in quite a spectacular... This guy speaks so well. Okay, maiden in the baths. Uh, that has one. A woman yeah, from the baths? Particular. The harpy nearly tore all Florian's hair out. I don't frequently feel sorry for my near do well apprentice, but such a on that occasion well I made spoken. an exception. Do you have any idea why she did it? Do you she think? was screaming about some girl, some flighty bath maid, Esther. Yeah, we have a name. I would say that Florian had felt the joys of spring and acted accordingly. Alright, that's all I need to Thank know. You. Okay, it, it doesn't it doesn't interrupt the other quest. That's good. We have to collect these things from each town for the lady. She'll re reward us thus, and I'm like, that is the, the the fetch quest of all fetch quests, and I'm good. I'll do it off camera or something, maybe. I don't know. Might be a good quest, but it's like not not good, not that fucking good. All right. I said, oh no, let's see, twenty twenty five. Okay, I said I would eat from the pot when we get into the sixties. So I'm trying not to overfeed. I think you get a bonus, and you don't want to go over 100 nourishment. It's kind of a cool little random thing. All right, where's this cup shed at? From one drunkard to another. Of course, he's down here. Madam in the bats, and in C, talk to Florian, the Graber's apprentice. So it would behoove me to go to the bathhouse first, right? And figure out what's going on. Even pay a debt if I have to. But uh, either way, we'll have some lovely little knowledge on Florian's escapades. And basically use that to our advantage. Yeah. Threaten them any way we can. We're getting closer there. I'm thinking Florian, being the assistant, has been engraving these counterfeit coins on the sly, you know, behind the master's back. The, a typical tale, you know. Trying to get a bit of money on the side. Yeah. Being a shady fuck. Got himself in more hot water than he could ever imagine, even at a bathhouse. Uh, let's see. Get pissy about you bringing a horse in, man. Give a fork. No, this this is. I don't know. Bathhouses have weird entrances. You you always yeah. notice them by their white bats there. See, but trying to get in there is a whole different beast. Skr -skr. There we go. So Esther was her name. Nice. I like a little. Do a good little quest. I hope it leads to some, some big revelations. Proprietor, hello. Nice. You can also avail of these lovely bath wenches. She's just called Bath Maid. Barely holding on to her clothes. Is that I, Esther, I think, is inside of her. I just need one of them to move. There's two women stuck together. Sorry. Hmm. Can you move? Fuck, man. This oh, happens. Has something happened? It has. Something has happened. Look out. Sorry. Maybe I'll just ask her. They are stuck inside of each other. Ah. Good old cry engine, huh? God preserve you. Who can make you cry, Blanche? Florian. I hear you're at odds with Apprentice Florian. At odds? I'll give you at odds. It's that sod's fault they took my Esther. They? Poor girl. Oh, no. I shudder to think what's become of her. She in the stock, stockyards? What happened? What exactly happened? This man came in wanting a bath, and Esther with it. She doesn't normally offer that kind of service, but I didn't see the harm, so I sent her uh -oh. into him. And suddenly I hear screams. So Jesus. I run out, and I see the bastard pulling her out of the tent and shoving her into a boat. I understand what has to do with Florian, Florian, Esther. I assume that Florian knows this, Esther. You know, village girls. They don't get much of a choice. Every other knave has a turnip for a brain. And if they don't, they're relatives. And then some young dandy turns up who writes her little poems. What's the poor girl to do? And this is how it ends. She should have stuck with the turnip heads. Where can I find this Florian? I'd like to ask him a few questions. He works in the engraver's workshop at the monastery craftsman's yard. And if he's not there, he'll be holed up like the rat he is in the cellar he rents from the baker. He's afraid of me, for sure. All right. It sounds like you were close to Esther. What's that? I loved her like my very own. She came to me as an orphan, like a wolf child she was. Jesus. I raised her and taught her. Oh, oh, yeah. I'll get her back, don't worry. 
I'm sorry they took her, but what exactly has it got to do with Florian? They shouted at me to tell Florian that when he rises up, he'll get the girl back. Ah, uh, hostage situation. TFL. What did the bailiff make of it? Don't even get me started on that. He's another fine bastard. I... How's that then? He wouldn't tell me to my face, of course. But people here don't think much of us. Of course. There's some as reckon my Esther deserves what she got. Wow. Okay. The usual. Not afraid to avail of their services, but then call them whores and, and yeah, everything else behind their back. The, t the typical stuff. They're all, half of them is just, it's because the fucking married men use them, that's why. So their ladies are like, turning a blind eye not a reason that they're, they're getting the fucking yeah. pleasures of the night sorted out when they're asleep. Okay, so this is, this is a, that was a lot, okay. So we, ha we have the bakers to check on. Is the Baker's this not the, no? It's not the same as the Miller's, right? Or is it? I don't think so. Taylor, scribe. Maybe it is. I don't see no Baker. The blind. Is this it down here? You think it's the only one that's question mark? Oh, that might be here somewhere. I see Baker. Maybe maybe she meant Miller. I think bakers are different because it's usually a little uh, little bread. And this is that's just annoying the shit out of me. Alright. Let's go question Florian. Fucking shit. I bet you that's where the bakers is. It's just been blocked by this big dirty fucking question marker. It's pretty clear this is leading back into the monastery, which is somewhere we haven't been able to go. I had to avail of the monastery to help with the plague, but it was more Nicodemus, not the monastery itself. Alright, one bakery. Let's go find Florian. Nurse in a hangover, no doubt. Hello. Well, well, well. Speak of the devil. I'm at your you? service, Sir Knight. Oh, you're at my service, alright. You don't look sick, you little prick. You look quite sprightly for an invalid. What? Who the hell are you? My name's Henry, and I'm making inquiries for Sir Radzig Kobola. Once what they hear that, me? they man up. Straight to the point then? Alright. Hey. I've been investigating counterfeit money, and the trail led me straight to you. Does the name Rappato mean anything to you? Um, I, I don't know. Uh, maybe? Shaking in your boots, don't bother. Boy. I know you know him. You make the punch dies for the counterfeiters. How do you hand them over? Punch you know where their dice. workshop is? I can't say anything. I'll deny everything and you've got nothing on me. No evidence, just accusations. Oh, mm. you think so? But you confess to me. Execution will sort you out. It's because of that girl. Here we go. It's got something to do with that girl, hasn't it? Yes. How do you know? I that can help. Matter. Esther is innocent and all this. I suppose not. I didn't want to get involved, I swear. That's what they all say. Those bastards kidnapped Esther. If I don't cooperate, they'll kill her. Sorry. Who is, uh, doesn't justify your actions? That doesn't begin to justify what you did. Oh, I better be careful I don't here. care. This isn't about me. Okay. Listen, I'll tell you everything. I promise. But only if I know that Esther's safe. What, so I'm to go searching for her in the woods? I know where they're keeping her, but nobody will help me. Mm-hmm. And what can puny little me do faced with those strapping great villains? True. I'll save Esther. How dare you haggle with me? If you take to the heels, you'll never see Esther again. Okay. I'll save Esther. Someone has to man well. the fuck up. I'll bring back your Esther. Really? Yes, but then you have to tell me everything. I will. I swear to God Almighty. Please, just bring her back to me. Nothing else matters. Where are they keeping her? In the Scalitz Hills. There are some abandoned cottages around the mines. That's where I saw her last. They took me there when I said they had to let me speak to her. All right. I'll go there and try and think of something. You're my saviour. Well, don't get your hopes up. Anything can happen. See you later. Alright. This place is just chilling here. Like, you can almost go in here before you go into the bakery. I have to go to the scallops, man. That's fucking half the map, you cheeky bastards. Ah, fuck. Alright. The hills around Scalitz. Why isn't it showing up? Is this like a separate thing? Damsel in distress, it is a separate thing. You can track only three side quests. 
Well, that's fine. I don't need these. All right, it's just below there. Okay. All right. Fine by me. I think this you gotta love these kind of quests, don't you? If we follow this road north as much as we can, it splinters off going left. It might take us where we need to go. Okay, cool. Let's do that. Where's my horses right here? Good lad. Okay. Uh, let's make sure we have enough stuff before we go. Save your snaps eight. Okay, cool. So I might just want to say before I get there. <clears throat> Alright, where's the damn road out of here? I'm so bad. Luckily the horse is fast, and you can make him faster yeah. as well. Level him up. Okay, we gotta save this damsel in stress. You could probably find multiple ways of doing that, maybe even shaking it loose out of him without having to rescue Esther at all. Yeah. But, I don't know. Out of anybody in here, I'd rather Esther survive. Probably don't give a shit. These dumbasses, man. They do illegal shit. And surprise Pikachu's face when they're fucking on death's door with everybody coming from them. Like it's medio like nowadays people do illegal shit because for the most part they know they'll get away with it. Back then, it, there was no trials; it was execution, and that's it. Oh, it's just the right way. Yeah. Yeah. That's wild. Like, why did you ever, ever choose a life of criminality? It's like, mm. It was, it was, you know, it, I don't know how many people were killed back then off with their head before they ever got even an ounce of justice off the bed. Amid, thank you so much for hanging out, dude. Good to see you, good to hear you. Have a good sleep. Yeah, the, the immersive side of games, I can definitely um, understand. Like, that's how I feel with yeah. Baldur's Great uh, Tree. I just don't think it would be for me. As soon as I start rolling the dice, that breaks the immersion for me. Everything else seems like my cup of tea. The story itself looks pretty bang tidy. This gub shit. Savage. I wish the perk stuff wouldn't be in the middle of the screen, but it is what it is. Sometimes it pops up. Oh. Sounds like more bandits. Let me grab a save. I don't even know what happened there. It happened so fast. Right. These all bandits? Well, what is happening? Look what's come God Almighty, I'll watch out! Over there, a bandit! Well then, no. was it worth it? I was allowed. Look out! There's one of those bastards! Look at what for? <clears throat> Reputation? People will notice your bad behavior. Hey, Who am I fighting? Nazca! <laughs> I see him! There! Disobedience. Oh, I accidentally hit my dog because he was standing right there. Sorry, buddy. I can't. I don't know who's the bad guys here. Why can't they just tell you? Bandits. Dog ran off. And then is this guy a bandit? Yeah, it said reputation. It's really fucking annoying sometimes. I swear to God, why would I lose reputation for killing a bandit? You fucking idiots! I saved your lives, you dumb fucks. I didn't kill this guy. Traitor. That's what happens to a lot of them, poor bastards. You can get to the point of not wanting to pick up half of this shit because mission left out. Oh God, I'm bleeding bad. Got blood all down the screen. Things we do to help people and they turn around and go, fuck you. <laughs> Wait until he decides to come back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna load that and see what the fuck happened there. What a, it's like a series of fortunate events. Why did my reputation drop? Uh, does Ireland have any medieval times? No. I wish. I wish. We do not. I've always wanted to go to medieval your times. Money or your life. 
What an ass kicking, fucker. Come and get it. I see it. There. I'll slaughter you. Why are they got a Don't fucking run in the face or not? Yeah. What's the matter? You're gonna cry now. Well, well, that's the end of you. That's the end of you. That's the end of you. Dude, that, that counts as stealing, right? At least my dog's happy now. You guys okay? What the? Random traitors. Nope, don't even say thank you. Yeah, I don't understand why some stuff counts as stealing. Whatever. Alright. Let's continue on. Where's my horse? Come here. Come here, hottie. Let's, yeah, at least my dog isn't pissed at me. Now my sword is covered in blood. That can kind of look bad, too. That's why you clean it. Oh, they saved me schnapps until I... Run into the actual band, it's not just some shitheads along the way. Alright, we're going north now. Let's hope this is the right way. It'd be nice to finish off this quest in the stream, but we'll see. It's not a matter of can we. As I told you these quests are, are easily, and I've already done half of this one. This is a big one. But you can kind of cut into some of. Okay, this is where we're going to have a little bit of trouble. How do I get up there? Woods will get in the way. So will this account. Let's try and get out over there. I get get stuck in the simplest of things. Diddle day, diddle day, diddle day. Probably on a timer as well, so you just have to be careful. It's like just like those bandits we missed. And she could end up dead. It's not that punishing, it's just the nature of not having any clue, you know? How the fuck do you get over there? Shit. I think I might have, should have went this way maybe? I don't know. It's the woods that are blocking you. It's like fucking looking at old. Maybe I can go here. Alright, we'll do. It's like looking at an old uh, Tolkien map where it's like it looks like you can go that way, but it's actually sheer face rock. Oh, it looks like he's gonna bump into someone, is he? No, is he good? Why is he going so slow? Never yet. What the fuck is going on? Come on, move! He's sticking. Pretty long, but will that? Oh, obstacle! Obstacle blocking the way. Fortunately, for what happened, it could. All right, scout. This was the magical yeah. obstacle. Yeah. Okay, is there a way over there? Kinda. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. We could. Take a left going out of Rothna. I told you this was going to be awkward, it just seemed like north. I mean, you can absolutely just... Oh look, it looks like this was supposed to be a combat situation. Definitely just take off in any direction you want, but... Trust me, the nearest fucking fence and hedge is going to get in your way. Why am I in a combat situation? Hello? Yeah. Or maybe they knock that down or something? 
I want to be down, he's okay. He might have knocked down the tree to try and block me. Some of the bandits, I can fucking tell. It's clear as day that they're actually just normal ass people. Some of them are not even armored. Like, Jesus, what led to this life? Just scoundrel and a bastard. This is nice out here. This is like lovely plains between the valleys. Nice. Much better than just fucking falling down cliffs. Alright, this should take us to where we're going to rescue this girl. I want to rescue her because, like, Bat Maiden or not, she's just an innocent in all this. Yeah. Florian's the dumbass. But of course, he's too chicken shit to actually fix his problems. Why is there a road there? But it doesn't look like it'll get you anywhere. Looks like it's just a whole, whole, a whole load of mines yeah. which are near horsemanship. You're near uh, Skalix, which is where you start the game. It's, it's uh, Henry's hometown. Yeah. Alright, how much can we shortcut here? Can we at all? These fences are a fucker. What was that noise? Oh, these are all bandits? Oh, fuck, I can't even get back out of here. Oh, no. Reputation. People know your bad oh, behavior. No. Hey, all of you, gather here! Raise the alarm! Fuck! I don't understand why Raise my reputation. What are you talking about? Alarm! So this whole area is just bandits. I'm still so far away from the actual objective. That sucks. <clears throat> Why is it a, a my reputation though? I don't get that. Would you not, would your reputation not go up for killing bandits? They're pussy ass bitches. Whatever. I don't need to fight all these. I just want to get to the main spot. So has this all just become bandit country? I suppose Runt was here. Yeah. Makes sense. Let me see how many is chasing me. Is this this one guy? I think he's gone, is he? Okay, I believe. I have no problem killing as many as I need to, but not we're in the middle of fucking. Alright, so it's just in this general area, is it? Find place where Esther is being held. Like, I don't want to get this girl fucking killed. But yeah, medieval times would be great. Oh, Jesus. Because I, I like the way they do things, even if it's just like the turkey and stuff. But yeah, a different ball game over here. Alright, camp. No, why would you do that? That might be the camp we need. We just have to slaughter everyone in sight. Okay, where exactly would she be? What's down here? Oh, mine shaft or something. Don't serve too well against a lot of enemies either, so be careful. Alright, there's a building there. Let's just grab a save. This could go horribly wrong. Wanna get her killed. You can make more save your snaps anyway. Okay. See. Oh, find the place where Esther is being held. Oh shit! Did they already see what? you? What's this? Answer to my prayers, just when I wanted to vent my rage on someone. I thought you wanted to vent your rage. No, you're messing with. I'm Henry, motherfucker. That's right, smack a dude. We got, we got two. Oh shit! I think there's another. Entertainment. Great. <laughs> Another one showed up. We gotta here. kill this guy. Fast. Everyone. Quick. Nice. Cool that come. <laughs> Fuck, we're getting attacked by someone else like a pussy ass bitch. Nice, we got rid of that guy. Couldn't wait your turn, could you, you pussy? Nice, you guys suck. Good doggy, I think I hit him twice though, I heard him yelping. Poor little guy, I'm sorry. Oh, key to shed, nice. Can you move for a second, you have to be right on the body the whole time? Yeah, good lad. Come here, I'm sorry. 
Well, let me talk to him. I think we're still in combat. Uh, yep, we are. Who is it? It's a pussy ass archer in the corner of the screen. Of course, it is. God damn! See when that happens, how the fuck am I supposed to tell the swords out? Go! Yet. Look at this shit. This was. I'm not controlling the camera. You need to remember that. So when it does this fucking 360 no scope on the camera, it just makes me want to vomit all over my my stew. What are they thinking? All right, are we are we chilling now? Talk to Esther. Good boy. I need to. I want to talk to him. I think we're still in combat. Here we go. Good fella. You're just like that's my boy. You stupid. Sorry for getting you hurt. All right. Nice. How are we doing? We didn't take much damage there. Love to see that. Uh, energy, okay. Nourishment, okay. Alright, where are you, Esther? This is in some kind of a building. It's this lockpick easy. I do it for the Groshin. Yeah, we, we had a in the chat tell me to get the everlasting lockpicks. It's not even in that. That's been really helpful with the lockpicks, thank god. Alright, said she was here. I don't see her. Oh, it's over here? God damn, it's really makeshift. Are you in here, Esther? Please, God, tell me you are on lock. Boom. Yes! You okay? You're not dead or anything? Please, help me. That's what I'm here for. I'm gonna bring you back. You Is your name Esther? However did you find me? Florian told me where they took you. Yeah, don't give him the credit. I'm a fool. I thought he was just a dandy. God knows why. And it turns out he's a villain in league with thieves. And a coward, too. This yep. whole time, he knew where I was. Bastard. Uh, I would have tried to rescue you immediately. For Christ's sake, shut up. <laughs> You're right. If I were him, nothing could have stopped me coming for you. Mm -hmm. Exactly. What a pathetic coward. Nice. We should probably set off. Right. Do I have to bring you all the way? I'll go with you. Go on your own. I'll go with you. I'll go with you. I'd hate to lose you on the way. Also, I don't want to fucking fast travel all the way back. I'm just going to say... Nice. Hey, that was quick and easy. Well, it's harder to get there than actually fight them. Luckily, we got the St. George's sword, which I believe is extremely powerful. So I might have broken combat a little bit, but I think we earned it using the assassin for the first half of the fucking game, which was tough. Tough, 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 tough. But St. George's sword, I think it's 72 stab and 72 slash. That's how the game works. It has a stab and a slash. And a blunt force, so you have to think of these things. That's why there's there's war hammers, mallets, sword swords, bastard swords. There's lots What's of stuff. What's that? All the bastards. All right, welcome back. You want okay. something from me, do you? Oh yes, yes I do. Okay, she's back there. Let's go find Florian. Where have you put me, game? Did that thing where it's like it's ex exactly back where you were. Um. We should be in here. All right, you little prick. Did your work for you? And Greetings. Fess up. I saved Esther. No I found that Esther of yours. I know. Back already. Mm -hmm. How can I ever thank you? By I telling me all about the goings on with Raffata. They found me in the tavern one evening. Caught me when I went to the ship pile. They started to badger me. Have they called back then? The ship pile. Yes, Rapata. And a night right. they called Sir Yezek. And yeah, we then know they explained what they wanted from me, and I told them to sod off. I'm guessing that didn't go down too well. It wasn't all that bad. They just threw me on the dung heap and left. Yeah. And I thought it was just a drunkard's joke. But then they took Esther. You're not really helping me at all, are you? Where will I find Rapata? Rapata. He's usually wherever I am. What does that mean? He watches me. Creepy. Everywhere I go. And when I'm at home, he sits on the bench in the square, watching me. So he's there now? Hard to say. Sometimes I see him in the tavern on the green, buying supplies. All right. At least I know where to start. And you go to work tomorrow, you hear? Why? I'm going to trail because you. Because we have to lure him out. Right. And besides, your master will surely be... What does he look like? I have my doubts. I need to know what he looks like. Uh, I'll go before he gets away. I suppose I'd better go. I'd hate the box. Good luck, and thanks for the help. Oh, fuck Good off. Luck, you didn't help me much. Just, 
around the green. I guess we just will know game save. Okay. Guess we'll just know. He's following him and watching him. And he's around the markers. These are all women. This no charlatan. Oh, who's this guy here walking ever so fucking? Hey, you little prick! Would you be Rapata? Yes. Are you Rapata by any chance? Rapata? Pardon me. Do we know each other? All this no, for this piece of shit? I could have just bonked him on the uh, head. Uh, well, I I don't have much time right now. I'd best be off. It'll only take a moment. Um. All right then. He knows, what do you he want? Knows. I know that you spy on Flora. I know you buy Quicksilver for the Forgers. I know you buy Quicksilver for those counters. You're a bastard. Ah, uh, it seems there's no point making excuses. None. Now tell me where their workshop is. Of course, of course. That that will be the best. That was solution. easy. So what a worm. Uh, let's leave it for another time. Hmm. What the fuck is going on? Stop him? No, stop him on, on Harson. Ah, oh, duty. Yeah, I unharsed him. There we go. No, I give up. Dang, I, I give up too. I just instantly press L2 to unharsen. So, are you ready to talk? What the fuck is going on? I will. Just don't hurt me, please. You probably could have followed him too, like me? we did with Ulrich. Tell me where the workshop is. Don't worry. Your master won't I just, I just hammered the L2 him. button, which is the on horse button. Many other problems. Pull people off the horse. It's in the Skullet's mind. Yeah. That doesn't narrow it down very much. On the eastern side of Skullet's Hill, there's an abandoned mine gallery. Well, it used to be abandoned. Now there's a small camp in front of it, and the workshop is inside. You just came from inside. there, though. Who is your liege lord? Yeah, who's this fucking Sir Who Jesus? is your lord? Sir Yezhek of Ronoff. That's what he calls himself. Although Ronoff Castle is Ooh, secure longer. Ulrich's help. Cool. F find out who in Sasser works with Copper. Oh, bollocks. But excuse me. What happened to it? I'm doing the best I can. Ronoff used to belong to Vincent, Count Lichtenberg. Lichtenberg. After his death, it fell to Margrave Jobst, and he had it pulled down. He knew full well that Vincent's vassals would resist him. Why? Everyone knows that when a lord dies without issue, the king can confer his estate on whoever he pleases. But Vincent had descendants. Ronoff only fell to the Margrave because he declared them all illegitimate. All because Vincent had refused to fight for him against Sir Prokop. Sir Yezhek led a revolt of the vassals, but Yob surrounded them all up. Only Sir Yezhek got away. Since then, he's become the scourge. Mm, okay, this seems to be the bad guy. Yeah, who's he so working who's for? Who's Sir working for? Don't tell me he just took it into his head one day to start forging coins. Exactly. That's not for me to know. Right. So yes, yes. Such as? We were often guests at the monastery, but I slept in the hayloft, so I heard nothing. So I was coming back to the monastery. Well, in the camp, you'd occasionally see a Hungarian Ooh. nobleman, but I don't know what he was doing Because you don't think it's Sigamund himself. The two bad guys left is... One of Sigamund's uh, generals, Mart Fark, as I've been calling him. He's bald with a suspicious, dastardly mustache. Just typical gobshite. So I've been calling him Mart Fart. And then obviously Sigamund himself, which we probably won't have dealings with him. He's like big in history, you know. It's not like I think do. I've heard enough. It's not Assassin's Creed. We're not going to be starting Can to mess with something? history. Yes. I don't want to hang. Aww. It's a horrible death. I prefer you just kill me here and now. No, nope. your dungeon is waiting. An honourable death, no chance. It's the dungeons for you. And Sorry, the sort buddy. Of you deserve a slow deserves. death. Don't worry, you little weasel. In time, you'll be glad of the gallows. People just speak up when they have the chance. You wouldn't. I wouldn't have to. I have to go back to Skeller. Oh, I like the way we actually bring them there as well. Bye, bye, numb nuts. I have no mercy for morons. I'm sorry. I have mercy like. Like someone like Florian's just a typical dumbass. He doesn't deserve to hang or anything. He's just a dumbass. Dumbass. But that guy, that's a, a weasel, a dangerous weasel, you know? Bye bye. Wait, you're trying to tell me Assassin's Creed isn't historical? Oh yeah. Historically fucked. Nice. Okay, that's that done. Uh, B. So I'm really going back to Scott. I see the way they, they're a whore for doing that, man. We just came from here. That kind of. 
gets me right in the fucking jubblies. There's no one. I was up here saving the chick. So yeah, I can't come there, save a chick, and do that at the same time. But now we can bring Ulrich with us and we can fucking storm this mine ourselves. That's cool. Even though I've already cleared out like four or five of them. Yeah. Well, actually, that reminds me. I should get my shit repaired beforehand because we got into a couple of fights. How is my stuff anyway? 72, 94, not bad. 80, 92. Ah, do you know what? We're fine. We're fucking fine. We're fine. Yeah. Let's go get old Ulrich. want to beat the shit out of them, don't you? Yeah. We are passing along the way of the grindstone, so I will sharpen my sword. I'll, I'll do that much. Did I go too far? Should be in here somewhere, right? Uh, oh, Lord Jesus. Sorry, missus. So, from the beginning. Didn't even matter. The sun sets out across the skies. He loses his way to the forge he flies. That's my jam right there. Kuttenberg is far, far away. Kuttenberg is far, here I'll stay. My breath is short, my feet are sore. I'd buy a horse, but I am poor. The sun may burn, the sun may shine, but you will not wither, darling mine. Bang, now, the dirt is gone. Last time. I hope I can be a... I'm going to call him Knight. Oh, well. I kind of wish they would, wouldn't do that. Thank you. A lot of my stuff is armor now. Even my shoes. Alright. It's going to be Henry, the Knight Squire, and Sir yeah. Ulrich von Lichtenstein. Just makes me want to watch a Knight's Tale. Something tells me he's gonna get his ass killed. But that's more of a. God be with I don't you. give a fuck. You know? We also have to pass his little test by getting the shit kicked out of us, so yeah. If he happens to get the shit kicked out of him, I'll point and laugh. Ha 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 ha. Like Mandark from Dexter's Laboratory. I know where the workshop is. I Let's finally go. found out where the Forger's workshop is. Master Faithfar was right. The Forgers are sticking close to the supply source. Their workshop is somewhere in the mines. What was the outcome the of Henry's pain? Did you end up burying the them? I've no idea what's going on. That's a good point. I tried. Ago, I tried. I don't think you I can. Be glad to give it. We end up done. almost dying to Runt, the leader of the bandit. But in the last stream, we went in a big war against him. He's been working with the Hungarians. Where the fuck did you fast travel me? So, uh. Oh, you did. Thank you, game. Let's go. Nice, and Ulrich, we're just chilling in the middle of the road, okay. So yeah, we, we got the kill run, it was really cool, one on one. But before that, it was like 15 versus 15. And we got to poison some of them, let's go. We know we killed a few of these, let's just keep going. Let's go, Ulrich. Time to get some payback. But I should try and go back there, it's kind of one of those games that it does appreciate. If you go back and there's like hidden dialogue and all that kind of stuff, you know. I love how the music's just chilling. Should I save now? Find the entrance to the mine shaft. Mine shaft. He is German. Uh, find the counterfeit workshop. Don't know if it's saved. Did it? No, it didn't. Actually, maybe it did. Damsel in distress. Oh, am I still on that? That's finished, right? All the glistens. Yeah, it's, it's done. It's done. Chill the fuck out, kid. I feel like I should grab a save anyway. <laughs> fuck it, let's do it. I can make loads. I can make the snaps. Yeah, that was kind of sad. I should go back and check. From the, from the sounds of it, I think Teresa might have taken care of it. Because he ended up fucking nearly dying. And that's one of the big things in the game, is trying to get that sword back. Alright, let's go! What up, motherfucker? Who's this guy? What are you doing here? Who's there? I'm here to kick your ass. Let's go, Ulrich. Come on. Hey, the guy's at half. Look, he's even crashed. He's dead. Nice. Look at that bloodlust. I'm going to enjoy this. Hey. What, da Diane? Oh, you want some? Oh. See that? I don't control that camera. Oh man, my dog's kicking ass. Dear God. All right, where'd Ulrich go? I gotta help him. I don't want him dying. Raise the alarm. Where's Ulrich gone? Shit. 
Where the fuck did he go, man? He disappeared. It's probably like the first to die. Should we go into the mine? Or? Aldrich, are you here? Did you run in here? Shit, dude. He fucking vanished on me. Yeah, his sword's pretty badass. So you have to, like, be wary of what armor they have as well. It really helps. Oh no, where's Ulrich? Um, so when I was fighting Runt, he never wears head armor. He's an idiot, so I just bonked him on the head. I can hear somebody. Oh no, I'm gonna get lost in these mines. Where the fuck did Ulrich go? He was here fighting. Ulrich went from fighting alongside me to disappearing. Arrest? Oh, he's still here? Wow. We're gonna arrest a knight. That's a big ask. Here we go. I don't see no knight here. Ulrich's with us. Just magically fucking. Poof. There's the counterfeiters. We found us. This is the whole thing. Nice. Oh, well, well. Do they know each other? That's the question. Jesus Christ. Who are you and what are you doing here? I'm here at the command of the royal hetman, Sir Radzid Kabila. You're in big trouble, bitch. And who's he? Oh, they don't know each other. Okay, good. That's no concern of yours. <sighs> the German. I'm sure we could come to some sort Actually, of agreement. Actually, fake the debts and move to I Barbados. I have plenty of coin. <laughs> we can come to an agreement that you'll keep your mouth shut. <gasps> nice. Please, don't take this personally. Right! Dang. What? Do you want to do it? Be my guest. It gives me no pleasure. You can't kill him. I have orders to take him to Ratai. That is unfortunate. I have orders to kill everyone involved in this business. Whoa. You can't do that. No justice. I have no choice. No witnesses? Uh-oh. Aldrich, don't do this. We've had Why do you want to kill him? A weird you may have valuable information. Yeah. For that exact reason. My master does not wish this man to fall into the wrong hands. We're going to be enemies again, Ulrich. Those of Radzik Kabila. What do you mean by that? You're a traitor. You can lie about killing him, you know. You can tell your lord the man is dead. He'll never find out. Mm -hmm. But he will. Or do you think you can lock this man away from sight until Judgment Day? Why not? Do not be naive, boy. Look around you. Mm -hmm. This land swarms with rats and snakes, especially now. There is no secret that is not for sale. If I let you have him, my own head will be on a spike before the month is out. Aww. I already beat you once. You don't have to return to the Rosenbergs. That's true. Could we beat the... Uh... You don't have to go back to I kind of don't want to kill him. How do you know He's a lovable old bastard. Master Fafar recognized the writing on your letter of passage. Ah. Just as I said, there is nothing safe from prying eyes in this land. And where would you suggest I go? Into Sir Radzik's service. Nice. He needs people like That'd you. Be cool, but would he be a traitor to his own land? land? Out of the question. If he learned of all that I did for the Rosenbergs, he would hang me from the nearest tree. But you are right, I do not have to return to the Rosenbergs. You can just fact, flee to I a can. different country. Why not? Come to Hibernia. I am a knight without a crest, without allegiance. No one was meant to know whom I served. If the Rosenbergs hear that I have been found out, they will see to it I vanish. They cannot afford to be associated with me. Where will you go then? Where the road takes me. Aww. As I have many times before. I'm glad I don't want to kill him. Farewell, Henry. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. Goodbye, Ulrich. he will probably die before he leaves. Where did he go, though? He was in the middle of a good fight. Alright. No. Where's he gone? Off he goes. German knight extraordinary. No, he's just standing right there. You good, bro? Nice. Now, don't worry. I didn't forget about you, little porky pie, huh? Please. Please. I'm no. sure we can come to some sort of agreement. Of course we can. You can talk all your life. An agreement to get you back here. from jail. I'm not to make. Let's go. Nice. So we just stopped the giant counterfeit ring. Let's go. There's some nice cutscenes. Master Fafar is very keen to meet you. Like he's, the reason why it's so important is that they're funding the war with the counterfeits. You know what I mean? Because that's one of the most important fucking things. Good Back work, then, Henry. they would have you, hundreds of people 
to it fight for, the, for their land. For I'll take some men and have no a good look around for, there. No money for swords, and what horses, armor. We should get some rest. So it's just a couple of farmers with pitchforks. In the meantime, so Radzak so will have this wretch questioned. Maybe he'll get something useful out of him. All right. I'll see you in Ratai then. Fucking money. Now, buying all the armor and everything and kitting out a giant Hungarian armor and counterfeit money is not just a slap on the face, but it's like a double, you know? You're basically giving them fake money and winning the war, killing their own men with fake money. Uh, don't worry about that quest fail bullshit. It's one of the DLCs that shows up every day. It's a tournament you can try and win. So I don't think it's too bad if it's 1v1v1. Alright, cool. So I think, have we finished that entire quest? Thank god, that was a monster. It ended kind of quick at the end there, didn't it? So what's next? What is next? I think we probably have to go back and talk to... Oh no, it's still there. Return to retire. Yeah, talk to Radzik. Good, good, good. Except that it's halfway across the fucking map. You bastards. Why couldn't they just have brought him back there, you know? Come on. Alright. Um, uh, maybe I can talk to Tobias. This is the guy on, on Hearst. That actually saved us a lot of time. I'm not trying to race through the quest. Like, there's a lot of stuff I didn't have to do. I could have just beaten the shit out of Florian instead of saving Esther. Just left her to die. I could have just found uh, your man. What's his name? Potter. Rapotta. I could have just found him out and about. But I do think that even though that can happen, just like that old man straw, you won't have conversation choices until they're ready to give you them. You know, until you push the quest in the right direction. But it is nice that you can do it. Here you go, teleporting horse. It is nice that you can do that. I, I love multiple ways of doing things. Alright, where's the fucking scribe? Ah, oh, you bastard, he's down there, of course he's. It's a nice. It won't be the last time we come down here for sure because they've nodded now twice at the uh, monastery. So I'm thinking we'll be coming back because even though we've stopped the guy who's in charge of the counterfeiting, somebody obviously put him up to it. Somebody has commissioned him. It goes. It always goes deeper. They're all singing now, it's lovely. Where's the, where's the scribe on the blind? It says it's there, I don't see it. Is it in here? There's no signpost. What a gobshite. Excuse me. Oh no, Tobias is not that. Fucking douchebag. Alright, wait, is that him walking around? No, he was in the green. I think he's probably gone down back to Ratai. He's just a normal scribe if you want to learn to read. No, Tobias is gone. Okay. Well, the day is still young. Let us get back to Ratai. I always press down button. Up on, up for the map, down for inventory. Fucking annoying. Back to Ratai. See, because he's in jail there. Fucking idiot. But yet, for some god awful reason. He didn't bring me back there. Sometimes they fast travel. Like we fast traveled to that camp. That was super nice because I was kind of bemoaning about having to go back to where I just was. But then other times they dump you in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, it is what it is. Da -da -da. Oh, obstacle. You see an obstacle blocking your way. Scout. It's These obstacles always tend to be bandits. I mean, look how now it's a broken caravan. Psych, it's actually three bandits. What? Show what you're made of. Oh, fucking hell, there's a lot of them. <laughs> See, I, I don't move the camera. <laughs> I'm not moving the camera right now. <laughs> fucking douchebag, you're locked onto the wrong person. I also can't move the, the lock on, which is so lovely. Oh, I'm getting bed up from behind, I can't move. Lousy wankers, man. I'll slaughter you. I'm not moving the camera. So much fun. Why are you doing this game? Yeah, the dogs always get me fucking killed. 
so I can't break out of them. That's annoying. That is annoying. Yeah, I don't know why the camera moves. That really just gets my goat. Silly bastards. At least give me control of the camera. That's all I'm asking. Like, the combat's fine. Just don't be fucking morons. You're making me really sick by spinning the camera around. Oh, Christ, we're back here where Ulrich was. So we lost all that progress there because of that. Isn't that fun? Is Ulrich even with me this time? Who's there? Someone there. Yeah, shut the fuck up. You're in the wrong place at the wrong time. Still don't time. understand why the reputation. They're, they're bandits. I don't need reputation. Pieces of filth. Not worth the spit of land. Ulrich really helping out. See how just everything just went wrong in a split second there. Was it worth it? Let me work. Oh. Don't see how any of that was my fault. I already killed like four of them. It's the dog that caused the issue because when he grabs your arm, you can't move over. Neither can they. I should have saved after we did all this, but yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is. Don't you love it? Now, normally you don't bang into too many bandits. In the daytime like that, but it's bad luck. How do they work in the dark like this? Let's just skip through all this crap. What did I I'm trying to remember which one I picked. Why do you want to kill him? You may have for that would be better. You can tell your lord them, but he will. Why not? Do not be if I were You don't have Let's to hope go. it's a I'll success. Just into Saratic. I so okay. Good. You Let's get past all this. Bad, 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 bad. So, look, thank you. All right. Okay. Sorry about that. Not much you can do. It can be a bit cruel at times. That's for sure. So this is that Sasa. Good work, Henry. Thank you, Master Feyfar. It wasn't easy. I can tell you. I'll take some men and have a good look around there. And what should I do? You should get some rest and go to Rate. In the meantime, Sir Radzig will have this wretch questioned. Maybe he'll get... Everybody has been surprised me good so far. It's nice watching a tournament where you have no personal connection to any of the teams and just watching for a good game. Nice, hell yeah. Alright, we'll try that again. Sometimes when it reloads, it has this weird sheen on it. I don't know if it's loading all the graphics. It's weird. It's like the resolution or something doesn't kick in. Don't know if I should try this again. Wouldn't mind, usually it's three bandits. Every time I move, another one came out. But I'll tell you one thing, I am not fucking riding back that way. Let's give it a shot. You've an option just to go, go past it. It's like uh, just basically like cancelling the encounter but what it does is it just does a dice roll and you usually end up with losing half of your money and you're injured obviously it's better than death but um, I think we're good now we got past one of the bad areas nice yeah you're usually sound during the day it's the bandits at night that get you that was just bad RNG yeah, we'll go have a chat to Radzig and see where this goes. No doubt it's probably back to the monastery. Seems to be a lot of quests, but yeah, there is a good bit of back and forth like that. I get it. It's part of your nightly duty. Yeah, instead of, but wouldn't you just send messengers? Wouldn't you just write letters and send messenger boys? Instead of being face to face. Oh. Some cracking pop in there. I do like this. I, I, I do hope that a lot of stuff can be streamlined without being removed for the second game you know I don't want anything removed I like how earnest it is it does feel like a day in the life there he is there I just have to push past of 17 fucking guards in the way because everybody has to return to their patrol as soon as you load in just like a Bethesda game like I swear I wasn't just floating in the sky two minutes ago all right right so. man good work Henry he's getting like very you, friendly with us I tell you to take a well He's very rest, nice. Took us under his wing. One more Even called us you. son. Whatever you command. Kind of a lovable little thing. Yezhek refuses to talk to us. I'm thinking it's the stubborn kind of like asking to see you. I know. Me. Because his father's dead. It's like a Indeed. surrogate father thing they're going for. Normally I'd send for Captain Burner to beat it out of him. But then I told myself 
but if he's so keen to speak to you... Oh, we I'll get... try to get something out of him. Okay. Where is he? He's locked up in the tower. Bernard will give you the key. Very well, sir. Thank you. Is there something else I can do about the danger on the roads? No, that's uh, part of DLC. Anything with the little horse symbol? Question, get the keys from Bernard. Alright, so whereabouts is Bernard? Bernard sometimes is just walking around town like a big fucking eagle. Now, why? That's probably him over there. Why do I need to get the keys from him? Because they just felt the need to add it on there. I could just walk down and interrogate the bastard. It won't go lightly. If I can take this guy's tongue, I will. Can hardly get words out of him if you take his tongue from him, but I don't give off work. Give me my little teleporting beauty. Be nice just to yeah. end the quest, you know, that kind of way. It feels very There'll complete. In the grave. I doubt they'll all be as, yeah. as big as that one, but I'm sure she. I was just checking in on Hans at the end of the last stream, and that led to that fucking hilarious quest where we just got pissed drunk. It was like medieval hangover. I don't want to give them any ideas either. Excuse me. People yeah. don't take kind of you ramming your horse into them. It's kind of weird, isn't it? Alright, Bennett. You dealt with him enough. I should know him well. Yep. He's up. Is he up here or down here, you think? Probably up here. Bernard. He was our combat trainer. Nope. Where is he? Oh, he's asleep. Is he dead? You good, bro? What happened? I'm glad to see you. It's like three in the day. I need the key to the cell. I need the key to Yezhek's cell. Probably won't let me. Mm. So, so Radzik let him have his way in the end. Mm-hmm. Let me beat some answers out of him. I'll do it for you. I wonder you just want to talk to you. I wouldn't presume to question the judgment of Sir Radzik. Don't take it like that. You're all good. Don't take it that way. Yeah. He probably wants to talk to me because he reckons he can hoodwink me. But that's where he's wrong. Just try not to mess it up. Here's that key. Thanks. All right. Goodbye. One key. Was that necessary? Did I have to go all the way fucking here? Horse can't get here, didn't mean to whistle. Now the horse is climbing. And went in the rose thistle. You hey, little bastard. Was that necessary? Yeah. You know, it's just a slight moment, but I already made it all the way back here. I think everybody feels it. There's a couple of quests. Oh, for fuck's sake. Let me guess, he's gone to call the guards. That's on my fault, you dumbass blocking gate. Walking like you've a fucking prairie dog literally stuck up your ass. God bless you as I drive into you. Let's see how this interrogation goes, huh? Which finger will I break first? The only time I take mercy in this game is when it's a mercy kill on a dying bandit. There's two castles in this place, which is unusual. You don't often see that. So Radzik has taken uh, over. This area. All right, let me see. Where exactly was this? So he's locked in the tower, but I think actual cells are down below somewhere. Maybe. Wait, hold on. Ah, oh, fuck. Where have I gone? Oh yeah, they're over there. God damn it! They put the shit in the weirdest place. Yeah, this one's behind the tailor's house. If you remember correctly, I was uh, breaking into it when we were pissed drunk with Hans. Now, why would you put the prison so far away from the actual guard tower? That I don't know. You know, God forbid he fucking breaks out 12 or 17 times. They have a weird name for it. It's called, like, Rat House or something. Rat House? Is this it? It's getting about that time. There you go, down here. I think, right? Yep. Prison shells. Alright, which one's numb nuts? It seems to be this one. Unlock. It's not little. Well, well, well. Hello there. Hey, Henry, come to see us. What the fuck, dude? Well, finally, I've had quite a wait. Is that Why Peter do you Griffin? Want to talk to me of all people. I'm not your friend. You brought me here. You should consider it an honor. What? An o what is going on? If hanging around in a damp dungeon with a He's condemned man is your idea of honor, fucking you're not seeing the bright Jesus. side. You can be the one who uncovers a conspiracy against the king for your master. You don't get an opportunity like that every day. That's, he's an it oblivion voice actor, mind, isn't he? Though, that it might be nice to get some assurances for my cooperation. Uh oh. After all, I'm the one the Margrave just declared the scourge of the land and expelled from Moravia. 
They even pulled my beautiful castle down. Well. It was the necessity of making a living that forced me to take some liberties. Are you questioning the authority of the Margrave? You might be right, but stick to the point. Well, I suppose there's some truth in that. I may speak with Sir Radzig and he might pardon you. Okay. But not unless you start talking. Exactly, I'm going to need Well, ask me anything you want. Fucking I won't world bending stuff. What I want to know most of all is who's behind it. Yep. Who were you making those forgeries for? Do you think I couldn't have handled it all myself? No, you're dumbass. I'm trying to insult you. It's just not a job one man could do alone. I don't get all main right. character the energy from Henry's more of a group I was short sidekick. of coin. I think that's the point. As usual. So I let those crimps in Sassau recruit me. Recruit you into what? Hmm. I didn't inquire too much. In this business, you don't ask too many questions. But when they found out I wasn't just anybody, they put me in charge of the counterfeiting. A foreigner by the name of Eric gave me instructions. Who's a foreigner? But for sure, he isn't the chief. And there's someone highly placed at the monastery who's mixed up in it, too. But I don't know who. Gotta hope it's not Nicodemus. He was cool. Yeah, t tell me about this Eric pup. This Eric? Spelt the... You reckon he's not the one in charge? He Dutch puts way. on airs, but he's just a naive young pup. And he's always going on about his lord. But you're working never for mentioned him? him by name. Where can I find this, Eric? You must have had some meeting place. He used to come to the workshop unannounced. And after what's happened, I doubt he'll be showing his face there again. Mm. How did you come to hear of all this business? I met some old friends in Colleen a few months ago. And they said they were heading for Sassau. That armed men were being recruited, and they'll hire anyone. Old friends? Who were they? Just a couple of brigands. We used to ambush the Margrave's messengers in Moravia together. Nice friends you keep. Jesus. I was in dispute with the Margrave. A man in my position finds himself mixed up with all sorts. I bet. And then what? Rapota and I had been living off stale crusts for a month. So I wasn't going to turn down the chance of work. You're just honest you're or just otherwise. Great. We rode to Sassau and met with the recruiters. It didn't take long to realize I was a nobleman fallen on hard times. No, you're disgraced. Not some common peasant. Mm -hmm. Can you get to the point? Thank you, Henry. Well, they introduced me to this Eric, and he told me what was needed. They set up the workshop, got the men, the supplies, so, everything. We've another name. They they really have something. Crimps got to do with like wild You're goose telling chases. me this Eric is recruiting armed men in Sassau? Well, it seems so. I was giving the Crimp. recruiters some of the coins to do it. The fake ones, of course. Where can I find the recruiting gang? That's tricky. It was my friends who led me to them. We met with them in the woods next to Sassau. It's about who you know, as always. You said you gave them money. Where was that? They'd ride to the mine gallery to see me. I don't suppose you'd find them there now. Hmm. If you say so. Alright. Tell me about this. Yeah, this this highly suffice. placed person at the monastery. Yep. What can you tell me about him? Anything we can get from I this. have no idea who he is. Only that he's no small fry. After all, he handles the exchange of the forgeries in Passau. Hmm. Passau and Sassau. Is there anything else at all Sounds you can tell me speak. about him? No, he was supposed to supply me with materials too, but he backed out. Eric said he probably got cold feet. That will suffice. That's all we can get. So we just have a name, Eric, and we still don't know any more about this guy in the monastery, but somebody high up, obviously. That'll do me for the moment. Shit. Will you put in a word for me with Sir Radzig? Mm. I'll swear allegiance to him if he'll have me. I'm sick of being a renegade. No, you're about to be dead. You're a criminal. You can try. I'll have to think about it. I'll have to think about it. I don't want to... All right. The worst thing about that is, like most plea deals, is you ha they honor their side of the bargain. You have to kind of honor theirs, and it sucks. But uh, most of the time, I'm like, who gives a fuck? They just told you everything. Reminds me of, like, idiots who talk to police before getting a lawyer. It's like, well, you gave them everything. It's no good now. So in this case, if he slaughtered him, how would the quest continue I wonder he'd probably have a letter on him or something there's always little backups just like Bethesda little fucking ways sometimes you'll even continue the fucking quest without having anything it's like a miracle because they can't allow the player to soft lock themselves no matter how hard we try excuse me 
Alright, where are you, Radzik? You up in this tower? Do, do we bother? Like, I don't give a fuck. But what happens to this guy? There you are, sorry, sir. It'll put an end to the quest. So, what have you learned? All sorts of things. Oh, yes. There's some foreigner called Eric behind the counterfeiting ring, and someone highly placed at the monastery. The monastery? You don't even have a full name, really? just Eric. That's what Yezek claimed. So it's worse than I thought. Mm -hmm. If this is true, we'll have to proceed with the utmost caution. Why? Can't we just go to the monastery to investigate? No. If the church is truly involved, right. I have no authority. That sucks. And it's true. Back then, they were like, ironically, they were like, God, you'd have to go to the Vatican almost, you know? If the monastery is mixed up with the Cumans, holy shit. Like, they say foreigners, um, and they don't mean it. They just mean it as in uh, Hungarians. And, oh, look at this. Find out where the crimps meet in Sasso. Ask Sasso Bailiff. Ask the innkeeper. Oh, my God. So what will you do? So what will you do? I'll have to think about it. It won't be an easy nut to crack. I'll have to consult with Hanush. Mm-hmm. And what of this Eric? Who is he? I don't know, but he's recruiting armed men in Sasau and forming an army. Damn. Damn. So it looks like Pribislavitz wasn't the end of it. It most certainly wasn't, sir. If the church is involved, more, it can go Yezhe beyond is this Eric is all of the lords. And there's someone bigger behind Sneaky him. Bastard. You should return to Sasso and take a closer look at those recruiters. Why am I here then? If they're going to attack, we must find out sooner than last Y'all never heard of a fucking might not messenger be a pony. Like that. So Yezhak didn't know them and has no idea how to find them. You'll have to manage somehow, my lad. Mm -hmm. Don't tell me there's an armed force amassing here and nobody knows anything. Exactly. Go to Sasso and try to find them. I'm... I'm not sure where to start, Reputation so. lost. They'll Come ask on. around the alehouses and inns. Or at the Rad House. Someone must Rat have heard house. something. These things can't be entirely kept in the dark. Mm. Whatever you do, be careful, Henry. And best not mention my name. It would attract unwelcome attention. That sounds what cowardly. What we want is for the crimps to take you for just another village lad they can lure oh, into their Oh, that's clever. That's All right, clever. sir. I'll try to blend in as best I can. I know I'm asking a lot of you. But I know of no one else who could help as much as we you can. We can pretend now. to join the army. Promise Jessica like he would make a deal with you. Oh, fuck. Sir, there's one more thing. Sir Yezhek went with me without resistance because I promised him he could come to an agreement with you. My boy, my boy. You make promises in my name. Sorry. That could turn out very badly for just, both of just us. Just go easy. But if it can prevent bloodshed, why the hell not? There we go. But I can't say yet what will become of him. Nice. Good job. As you command, As you sir. command, sir. See, we're not, we're not a full night. It's weird that people even call us night. Game saved? Nice. Alright, that was a big fucking quest. Oh my god. That took two streams to do. Just saying. This one counterfeit ring. Now, this one is going to be funny. Us joining up, pretending to be some little wannabe bandit. Just so we can get in there as close. Good, good quest. I like the side quest more, almost, because they're just fucking hilarious. They're like a, a moment of brevity, just have a bit of fun. I like it. Right, but look, you see what I'm saying? Like, we went here, started here, then went back to find the scribe, you know, Tobias. Then went back to Sasso. Then got everything sorted. Then went back to uh, fucking Radzik to report. And now we gotta go back to Sasso. That's like seven trips. Oh, fucking Jesus. That's so unnecessary. You little shites. Don't make unnecessary trips. But... We're getting a bit closer. The fact that it's leading back to Skalax as well is interesting. Makes sense. Maybe there's someone else above uh, Runt. This Eric guy might be our next uh, our next target. That was a fun quest. Like Ulrich was awesome. I'm glad. Even if he's a free agent now, they might be hunting him down. But I'm glad we didn't have to kill him in the end. We did beat him once, like you said. That was cool. Maybe we'll see him in the sequel. That would be awesome. If they can somehow figure that out. Like Witcher did it amazing. Mass Effect does a decent job at it. I actually really like when your choices affect the next game. But not like Telltale where it's like, you did a great job, son. We've wrote them out of the show, though. We've killed them all off and wrote them out of the show. You're welcome. Nice. Just leave it there. Nice. So, yeah, when we come back, we'll go over there. I Next time I like stream, every time I stream this, I try and set it up where I'm like, good to go. So we can cut out some of the fluff, like, you know, repairing amber. Getting clean. 
and fast traveling to be over there it helps a little bit because the day-to-day -day stuff is fun when you're learning it but i think every stream you guys get sick of it maybe like um a little simulator parts when you get into the it looks like we'll be going into the monastery as well and i don't know how we're gonna do that because they are so fucking standoffish like i said you'd have to go to the vatican itself alone trying to accuse someone in the monastery that'd be like blasphemous you'd be you'd be killed <laughs> 